This is the Iowa Weather Report for Friday, October 10th, 2014. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At 1 p.m. this afternoon, we have pretty much a northwesterly flow coming in from Canada. This is going to keep temperatures rather cool across the state today. It's also going to keep us mainly sunny with a few clouds from time to time. Highs will be mainly in the 50s across the state, so it'll feel quite cool across the area. Any clouds will remain to our south with some rain showers down there that may sneak in toward uh, the border counties, but should remain down in Missouri. That moves off further to the south here on Saturday, still remaining quite cool in the mornings. Could see frost this morning, could see frost again Saturday morning as well. Highs on Saturday will be uh, about the same, maybe a degree or two warmer, 50s to lower 60s. But then as we move into Sunday, a bit of rain moves in, especially by the afternoon hours. You could still see a few peaks of sun, but you won't see any peaks the sun here on Monday as the rain moves in. Looks like the heaviest rain is going to stay to our south over Oklahoma, Arkansas, down into Texas, though we can't rule out any heavy rain up here as well. Could see an isolated clap of thunder as well. This could linger in our eastern counties into Tuesday with clearing skies during the afternoon hours from west to east. Highs will be in the 60s and then maybe dipping back into the upper 50s here on Tuesday. But then Wednesday we should see temperatures a couple degrees e couple degrees either side of 60 with partly to mostly sunny skies and then the winds begin to switch around to the south again ahead of a system that will be approaching from the west you see that here on Thursday low pressure center over South Dakota Minnesota but you can see no moisture with it some moisture up with the secondary low up in Saskatchewan but none around the low pressure center near Sioux Falls and that system moves off to the north and east by next Friday but you can see pretty much Pacific air coming in straight from the west to the east. Any precipitation with this system that will be moving through Thursday into Friday is going to remain to our north and move away from us as we move toward next weekend. So a couple of little chances of rain here and there and a couple of dry days intermixed in as well. And then as we go into the extended period here on the 21st, now the pattern's a little more active. We have a trough over the east pretty much the Great Lakes more or less, trough axis moving into the west, ridge in between over the high plains, you can see one system departing the area over the Great Lakes with some rain showers there stretching into the south, fairly benign weather back to the northwest where another system would be moving through, and around the end of the forecast, the 25th, we pretty much have uh, pretty much a trough axis over the north and east, a bit of a system over eastern Great Lakes into New England, cut off low over the south and west. We have high pressure overhead around here. Any precipitation, rain and or possibly some snow over the Great Lakes in the northeast. Some rain over the southwest, but pretty benign weather according to this model run, but we could see that change as well. Satellite image from last evening, we had some clouds across the middle part of the country from Colorado, across Kansas, through Missouri and into the Ohio River Valley, even extending into Iowa, a few showers and a thunderstorm or two along it. A lot of the thunderstorms were down here in Oklahoma, Texas Panhandle, where there was a severe thunderstorm watch last evening. Flash flood watches continue over far northeast Oklahoma, southeast Kansas, up into Missouri and Illinois. A few flash flood warnings as well. Frost advisories from South Dakota eastward. QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock, showing any rainfall around here uh, between about a tenth to maybe a couple of tenths, a tenth to maybe four tenths. Heaviest four to six inches will be across the deep south.